Holy m Hello? Can you can you hear me? Obviously you can hear me. Can you see me? I can't see anything man. SubhanAllah. That sun is bright. Look at it. <laughs> Salam alaikum. <laughs> oh buddy boy. Oh no, what have I done? No! Salam alaikum. It's a lovely sunny sunny day here in Canada. Or I guess Mississauga. Would you believe, yeah? It's four degrees outside. But because, I mean, first of all, Alhamdulillah, that I have this place. But because of all these windows all over the place, the inside temp is actually really warm. Let's actually see what the temperature is. Here's my meat thermometer, which I use exactly for its intended purposes. Nope. That is pretty, pretty nice actually. So it's warm enough that I feel like I need to turn the fan on. And so while praying, I turned the fan on. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I've been running around a lot this morning. I had uh, some cleaning people come who do a great job every time. Uh, very professional, a bit on the pricey side, but for the quality of work and the peace of mind I get, cause I like having a nice clean place when possible. It's, it's worth it to me. Which is also why I ha opened all the curtains because part of what they clean is like behind the sofa. Like I moved the sofa for them. They clean under it. They cleaned under the carpet. They do a great job. They clean, see all these little ledges? They clean it all over the apartment. It's, it's amazing. And for someone like me, uh, because I have dust allergies and I'm allergic to like cats, for example, I have allergies. It, it matters, it makes a big difference to my like quality of life. So 100% worth it. I recommend them to everyone I can, because they're great. I actually haven't told you who they are, <laughs> but if you're interested, just DM me, I'll tell you. On a separate note, I actually have a package at the post office I need to pick up apparently. I don't know what it is because I didn't order anything. At least I don't think I ordered anything. So I'm gonna go see what this is. And uh, also two for one, I get to go outside and enjoy the sun for a bit. I try to get out at least like once a day, basically, at least once. I find it really like boosts my mood and my like energy and my attitude. And in days where you get sun, which Alhamdulillah, man, I've been getting sun every day since I started the vlog. So uh, there's something there, I think, inshallah. Allahu alam. Yeah, before I started the vlog, it was like cloudy every day. I hadn't seen the sun in like two weeks, I think. So I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna take advantage of this and then I'm gonna come back and do some work, do some more work inshallah, because that's that's what life is, bro. Like you live it a little, you work a little, and that's okay. That's okay. Random side note, if you don't do to-do lists for your day, you should, because honestly, a few things. One, it helps you organize yourself. Two, there's this amazing, like weird sense of accomplishment when you cross something out, even if like, it's the smallest task, like sometimes I'll write on there like fold laundry, as you might've seen in the last vlog, I folded laundry. And just writing that on there and crossing it off makes you feel like really good and motivated to go on to the next thing. And I think that's beautiful, you know? I think, especially, especially when you live alone and you have to do a lot of extra things compared to like work, because you have to balance work and because you have to balance work and feeding yourself and exercising and taking care of yourself and socializing and and any other random thing you have to deal with and any other random thing you have to deal with it's just like it's good to set up procedures or use tools to help you deal with everything you're doing on that note i have to pray asr and then oh, the sun's gone i can turn this off we have to pray Asr and then we'll go. It's actually crazy how much of a difference it makes to walk in the sun and walk in the shade. Oof, so nice and warm. <laughs> also, you can, I can really tell the difference between inside my apartment and outside. It's like, let's see, like four degrees out here. And in my apartment, as you saw, I was registering at 21. <sighs> but Alhamdulillah, man, at least it's not snowing. At least it's not raining. Like, 
it's cold but alhamdulillah why how how can i complain about that you know also that is just going to be so annoying to walk through especially with my allergies when i hate living i hate living in construction what a pain oh look at that sun mashallah subhanallah i'm so excited to see what thing was delivered like i just, i have no idea so it's kind of exciting it's like a it's like a it's a surprise almost like a present hopefully it's something nice you know i don't know what all right just around this corner it's canada holy moly okay so i ordered this 4 months ago wait let me get out of the store and then make tell you the story wait, someone stabbed it what Okay, that's crazy. I ordered that four months ago. I ordered it in November. They're t-shirt samples for Sikh Anam. That's so funny because I was literally talking about that in the last video. After two months, I was like, I reached out to customer service. I was like, hey, the, the, the shirts never showed up. So can you check where they are? And they're like, oh, sorry, we think they're lost. Here's the refund. So they gave me a full refund. Two months after I got the refund, it just showed up. <laughs> now I don't know what to do. Should I just keep them? No, I'm just kidding. I, I'll reach out to the company and see if I can pay them for it um, or at least see what they say to do about it but yeah man that's just so like that was so unexpected hmm should I get Thai food? man I was this close to getting Thai food and then I remembered I have food at home I went from this close to this I can't open my fingers wide enough no longer am I getting Thai food why do I feel lost? This way. This video should be called receiving an unexpected gift or surprise. Some some clickbaity title like that. I can already see the thumbnail. It's me holding like a present with like a bow on it and stuff. Oof. <laughs> okay, I'm home. Uh, I I unbo I unboxed them even though they were in a bag. It's actually really cool. They have a sticker on them that says uh, "Wash before use, inside out." So you turn the shirt inside out and then you wash it before wearing it which is pretty nice actually i'm just in such shock that it's like here in terms of print quality we'll see how it does like that's the main thing i'm interested in uh, i will have to wash them and see afterwards but yeah man oh that's so funny that that's so funny that that's why it's so funny this is cool i'm gonna see how they do and then maybe I'll let you know in a future video. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't help myself. I had to just have a quick look. And the first one I was just looking at, like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not centered. <laughs> it's slightly to the left. <laughs> I have to double check that with a measuring tape later. But okay, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do this right now. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I kept looking. Like, look at this. This thread coming out already hasn't even been worn once. Like, that's a big L, you know? Actually, what the hell is going on here? Okay, so look at this stitching. It's like, so this thread here, it's meant to, I believe, overlap. But it doesn't. It just, it just goes above each other. This, <sighs> but, I mean, in terms of print quality, it looks okay-ish. I guess only time will tell after I wash it. It's still not as good as uh, it's still not as good as screen printing. It's all right. I I don't know. We'll see. This one's kind of cool. It's the Dome of the Rock. Uh, fun fact: not actually Masjid Al Aqsa. Uh, that whole compound is Masjid Al Aqsa, but that's a whole different story. Also, Free Palestine. I was just inspecting it a little closer, and uh, I was looking here, and like the yellow didn't like print too well. I'm not sure how they printed this. It looks like they went color by color, which is interesting. So, I mean, you can see a bit of blue underneath this yellow. It's weird, man. One fact, which is uh, actually a good tip though, that these stickers gave us, is that you should always wash your graphic tees inside out. It'll just preserve the print a bit longer and it's like better for like longevity. So yeah, they'll tip of the day on how to wash your graphic tees. Not that you asked, but... I can't make this up. 
I'm literally like on my way to pray in Maghrib. On my way as in I'm going to go pray Maghrib. And I'm reading an email from this building saying, Oh, uh, the fire alarms have been more frequent recently. And look what's happening! What is this? This is a joke. And Emo was talking about how like in the last two incidences, one was like a legit issue and the other one was some kids pulling a fire alarm. So I wonder what this one is. Now, do I leave or do I stay? On one hand, I could leave and avoid getting burnt in a fire in case this is real. On the other hand, the fire of Jahannam is really hard. <laughs> like, I'm gonna pray and then I'm gonna see what the building group chat's saying and I'll go accordingly. Many hours later. <laughs> so, I had a look. Apparently the last time I vlogged was at 4.30. I, it is currently 10 p.m. <laughs> oh, buddy boy. Okay, here's the situation. I have been very busy working. Mainly, I was putting a bunch of my furniture and all up for sale because I don't need it where I'm going. That sounds so weird. I don't need it uh, moving forward because my new place, I'll probably get a sh smaller place and, and also it's very expensive to ship stuff because it's done based on weight, not on volume. So purely because of that, I'm selling a bunch of stuff. And so, man, okay, so I posted stuff around like 5.30 maybe, maybe 6.00. And out of like, let's say I was selling 10 things, uh, by now I have sold nine of them. <laughs> so it's been a very hectic um, few hours. People are coming by to have a look at stuff. People are asking me to sell stuff I'm not even selling. So it's just been a, it's been a whole situation. And I realized that because I'm selling most of this stuff, I actually need to um, give it to them. <laughs> So I was just sitting there and realizing, man, I've sold like my TV, I've sold like the table that holds my like coffee machine and all. I've sold so many th like things, like a chair. And now I'm thinking like, bro, what am I gonna do for the next three weeks? Like just sit on the floor or something. But no, Alhamdulillah, it's not an issue like that. It's just really funny to me that this happened. It's also brought me a lot more calm. Is calm? Brought me a lot more calm? Calmness? It's made me feel a bit more uh, relaxed and less stressed about the whole move because the more stuff I can sell off, the less stuff I have to take, the less stuff I have to pay for to be shipped, the less stuff I have to pay for to be stored, the less stuff I have to move when I eventually get my place, inshallah. So it's just um, it's a whole situation, you know. But alhamdulillah, man, like this is probably like best case scenario that things are moving forward and that's all i can really ask for on that note a man's got some crossing out to do yeah right <laughs> uh well i didn't exactly sell the couch but that doesn't i, I can explain that but oh, that, that one felt really good yeah buddy oh, i did that too oh yeah Oh, that feels so great. I was talking about like writing to-do lists and then just getting like, uh, crossing them off as you go and how good it feels like, man. It's so just satisfying seeing that my day has been productive because sometimes I go through days where if I don't do this to-do list, I feel like I haven't done anything and I've just wasted my day. And that's honestly like one of the worst feelings. By the way, you know how I wanted um, Thai food earlier? Well, I, I ended up getting some. So I'm, I'm very excited for that. It's going to be a great dinner. So I don't know if I was mentioning this or not, but so people wanted to buy things that I wasn't even selling. And so now I need to make a decision. Like, is it worth selling the things they want to buy and then buying it again new once I get to where I'm going? But there's also a whole thing that maybe I won't need to buy anything again because the place I'm going to get is going to be smaller. And so a lot of the stuff may not fit anyway. So it may actually be more beneficial to just sell these things, right? Which is very interesting, actually. Not only do I have to think of how much money I would get, but I also need to think of how much money I would save on shipping. Because again, it's on weight. It's not on volume. Let's say for simpli simplicity sake, they charge a dollar per 10 pounds, okay? If something is a hundred pounds, I know I'm using pounds, I'm sorry. I'll use kilos, like a normal person. If they charge 
a dollar per 10 kilos which is very cheap by the way and something weighs 100 kilos so it cost me 10 dollars to ship it i have to factor that 10 dollars into the whole situation i'm just going to think about it tonight let the people know actually a few people who've reached out to me just moved here and just moved into this building and so their apartments are bare and they just got here as in when i say just just moved here i mean they literally got off the plane last week and moved here from their home country and so they're looking for like stuff and part of me also just wants to help them out because i remember when i first moved here how hard it was being in a new place not knowing anyone how expensive sud suddenly everything was like i know the struggle that is also weighing into my decision making so let's see i'm gonna think about it i actually think i'm i'm gonna end the video there because i'm not doing much else tonight i'm gonna have some food i'm gonna sleep and wake up tomorrow back to work regular life i was extremely happy with my little surprise today with the t-shirts was not expecting that at all but now that's actually created another problem where i have to reach out to the company and be like hey it showed up do i pay you <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think if it was me, if it was my business and I sent an order out to a customer after two months, they're like, bro, where's the item? And I'd be like, oh, man, OK, I have to give them a full refund. But I've 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 taken on the cost as well. Right. Like I've suffered the chart I've suffered. I've I've. I've now lost out on that order, right? I would feel pretty good if a customer reached out and was like, hey, by the way, it showed up four months from when I ordered it. Would you like a payment or something, you know? I guess they've already marked it as a loss, but, and maybe they, they'll just turn around and be like, hey, it's okay, don't worry about it. Like, just, it's fine. And that would be the best case scenario. And I think I would be the same if I was in that situation where a customer of mine was like, hey, it's showed up. Like, should I pay you? I'd be like, no, it's fine. Just keep it. Because at that point, I think the customer service more than anything matters, right? Like, oh, if I said that to them, then maybe they'll think of coming back to me and using my service again. Also, it might just be the nicer thing to do. Man, I ramble so much. It's insane. I don't know. Like, if you're still watching this, you're a true, like, lad or lass. No one else is going to put up with my rambling other than you who is watching this you the one person <laughs> watching this <laughs> alhamdulillah man life can be so tough sometimes and other times it can be so like easy alhamdulillah but no matter the situation as long as you're grateful that's all that really matters right we just gotta live life with that alhamdulillah mentality because there's always someone who's gonna have it better than you but there's always many many more who are gonna have it worse than you and so who the hell are you to complain <laughs> okay i'm going i will see you guys on the next one inshallah thank you for watching um